and welcome back. Thank you for joining me, my learning block. All right, anyway, just thought I'd have fun. Um, today we are learning how to teach the concept of addition. Now, I know you probably understand or remember addition sometime in your life, and you can remember how you learned it, right? Your, your teacher or parent, whoever taught you, taught you basically line these numbers up and then we're gonna add, all right? Two plus two equals three, three plus three equals four, four plus five equals nine or something like that. Anyway, yeah, that's fun and that's another video, but today we're gonna learn the concept of addition. So you can help your child understand what the actual concept of adding numbers really means. And we're gonna use place values in doing it. So, if you have not checked out the place values video, pause this one, go up, open up another screen, check out the place values video first, and then come over here. If your child already understands place values, you're in the right place. Stay here now, and it's time to learn. Again, check out some of the resources, they'll help you out, they'll give you supplemental, um, information and it is something that you can use work with your child with to to kind of better understand these concepts but we're going to go ahead and start with this now addition addition with your child needs to make sure they understand at this perp at this point we're not working with negative numbers yet i'm sorry addition means more it means adding 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 you're you're putting more in it all right so if your child understands addition means more we're at a good point, we're at a good place, all right? So, what does it mean to add larger numbers? Well, like I said, you need, I'm sorry for that one, you need your place values, okay? And your place values really help you out uh, with help with teaching your child this concept, such as your hundreds, tens, and ones. But even further, your child needs to make sure they have an understanding of their flats, rods, and units. Again, if you haven't checked out the place values video, switch over and it'll help you out a little bit. All right, so first, what does it mean to add value, to add numbers? Well, if your child sees this, they should be able to uh, determine that there are three flats, um, four rods, and two units, which gives them the number 342, all right? So they have 342 and they're going to then add, once this comes up, one flat, three rods, and three units. So one flat, three rods, and three units would give them 133. So they're gonna add 342, three flats, four rods, two units, to one rod, three flats, and three units. Oh, exciting what will happen. All right, when you're teaching this concept, that's what you want your child to understand, that they're adding these values of numbers. They're not necessarily adding the numbers themselves because anybody can add three plus one, right? Three plus one, four, ooh. No, it's not three plus one, it's 300 plus 100, and it's going to give us 400. But how do we see this? Well, in this, image that you're looking at right here, the adding value image, we see that we have three hundreds and another hundred. And so we're gonna add those together. And then we're gonna find out how many we have. And then from there, we're gonna add our units and our rods. And it will look a lot like this. All right, so when you're helping your child out, you want them to recognize they have three, three, rod three flats or three hundreds. So they have one, two, three, four, all right? So they have four hundreds, they have four flats. So they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna put the number four in the hundreds place because they, they have that. Now it may change with regrouping, but that's down the road, that's not now. Check out the next video and you'll get regrouping because this is not regrouping. Um, and then they'll count the number of rods or their number in the tens place. And they'll say they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they have seven rods. So seven is in the tens place. And then finally they have one, two, three, four, five. It's a counting game, five units. So we have four flats, we have seven 
rods and we have five units which gives us 475 therefore 342 plus 133 equals 475 now I know what you're thinking your child's not receiving work that looks like rods flats and units yes they are all right so your child is receiving that type of stuff so that's a way to help it help them but when they do switch over and they start getting these um number sentences if you may such as these 46 plus 32 or 125 plus 262 you want to know how to help them work it out well you want them to work out allow them to draw their flats their units their their rods so in this sense we have 46 plus 32 we're going to draw 46 with regards of rods and units right so we need one two three four units uh our rods one two, three, four, five, six, uh, six flats are, I'm, what am I thinking? Six units, four rods. And right here, we're going to add one, two, three rods, one, two units. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, rods and one two three four five six seven eight eight units therefore 46 plus 32 equals 78 larger number and we're going to use flats this time um we have one flat we have two rods <clears throat> and five units one two three four five units and we're going to add that to two flats six rods three four five six and two units so if we started with our flats again we have one two three flats one two three four five six seven eight rods and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven units. So they would be able to, to, de to determine that 125 plus 262 equals 387. And they're able to prove their work or show their work using these place values. All right, thank you again. And I know this will help your child and you're gonna see a lot of smiling faces when they're doing so well in school. Thank you again for joining me on my learning block. I look forward to learning to you next time and I will see you when you come back. Thank you.